Hello, today we are going to draw a nonagon or a nine-sided polygon inscribed in a given circle. The first step is to draw perpendicular vertical and horizontal diameters, as can be seen here in the video. I do this using a 45 degree set square with a built-in protractor. And as you can see, we cut our circumference four times at points A, R, P, and Q. And we also prolongate our horizontal diameter to the right of the circle, as can be seen here in the video. So now, setting our compass on point A and setting it to the length A0, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts our circumference at point 1. So now, we continue by setting our compass on point P, and with a radius P1, we scribe an arc to the right until it cuts our prolongated diameter at a point we will call 2. So now, with the same radius and setting our compass on the new point 2, we will scribe an arc to the left which goes through point A and point P, cutting our horizontal diameter at a new point which we will call point 3. So the distance from point Q to point 3 is going to be the length of the side of the nonagon or the nine-sided polygon that we want to draw. So now setting our compass to the length Q3, we are going to scribe nine arcs on the circumference. So as you can see, we set our compass to the length Q3, which will be the length of the side of our nonagon. And now, setting our compass on point A, we scribe our first vertex. And again, with the same radius, setting our compass on the previously scribed vertex, we scribe our second. Here we have our third arc and setting our compass on this. It's our fourth. Again, setting our compass on our previously scribed arc, we scribe our fifth. Continuing the process, setting our compass on our previously scribed arc, we scribe our sixth. And again, setting our compass on our previously scribed arc, we scribe an arc to the left, cutting the circumference. It's our seventh. Now we scribe our eighth arc, and as can be seen, if we're working with precision and accuracy, our ninth and final arc should cut our point A perfectly. As can be seen here, setting our compass on the previously scribed arc, our final arc should cut exactly at point A if we're working with precision and accuracy. The next step is to name our points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. These are the nine vertices of our nonagon. So the final step is to join them A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, 
F to G, G to H, H to I, and finally we close our nanagon, joining I to A. So, I hope this has helped you to draw a nanagon inscribed in a given circle. Please click like or subscribe to our YouTube channel.